Hi, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be working on another project. project is going to be called Broadway. So in this project we're going to practice the element positioning in CSS so that you can hone your skills and feel confident taking them to the real world. So why do we do this? Applying the display and position properties on a certain element is something you'll be doing plenty of with CSS. So exploring and practicing this will help you a lot. Let's go ahead and start the project here. All uh, right, Broadway. So we're gonna be using display position to improve the layout of the landing page for a fictional design firm called Broadway Design. So here we are, uh, we are Broadway. Here's about work team contact, get started with the design, develop, deploy. So this site has some style rules to begin with. You'll improve the layout and positioning of the navigation menu at the top of the page and the three supporting sections, the design, develop, and deploy below the image. If you get stuck, again, we have the project walkthrough, which we hopefully will not need, but let's get to it. All right, so check off all the tasks as you go. All right, let's go ahead and do it. So the header currently scrolls with the rest, rest of the document. So set its set its position property so that it only it stays stuck to the top of the window when it's stuck. So the header will do position, will do fixed. Does that fix it? Uh, let's see. You're on the right track. However, it's currently missing the width property. Try adding a width to make the header stretch across. Okay, yeah, we need to do the width. And we'll do... Mm. We'll do 300 pixels. Does that work? No, might have to make it more. Uh, it's a thousand. There you go. You need to modify the header. Currently it's set to fixed. However, the property is set to, okay, it should be set to 100%. Sorry, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. 100%, there you go. And then, let's see, your code correctly sets the position, so it sticks. However, there's one additional property you need to add to ensure that, it, can you think? There is one additional property that you need to add to the header to ensure it stretches across its entire parent elements. Mm. Position is fixed. Yeah, yeah, we made it fixed. Okay, we're done with that one. Okay, now the header has shrunk. So change the width of the same element so that it stretches across. That we did. In order to make the, you need to give it the display property of the header to block. Okay. So display, we need it to be block. There you go. Remember the width property can take different units of measurement or auto. Think about which unit. Okay. So done with this one. All right. The list items inside of the navigation sections are currently displayed in a list. 
Set their display property so that it can appear next to each other horizontally so that you can still set the set their width in the next one. Okay, so right here, uh, display, and we can have it as, bro, honestly, I'm, I'm blanking on this project um, because it's been so long. Okay, inline block, right, yeah. Inline block. It should spread them out like that. Perfect. Okay. Works. Okay. Set the width of the same elements to 80 pixels. So we'll do width and then 80 pixels. Perfect. Now, after changing the position of the header element to fix the contents of the entire web page shifted upwards. So set the position of main so that we can position it to relatively. So the position relative. Perfect. The header disappeared behind it so let's use the z index to make it visible so we'll do z index and we'll do one now the navigation bar looks good but it's blocking the title at the top of the page so offset the main by 50 pixels from the top so let's find main and we'll do top, we'll do 80 pixels. Perfect. Are we good or no? Let me see. If you're blocking the title to fix this, you can, can you think of a property? Yeah, we use top, right? Okay, so now fix the fix up the supporting elements below the image. So add a declaration to the supporting dot call rule. So is supporting dot call. Okay. So to set these elements can appear horizontally to each other, but have a defined height and width. So is it I think it's in line, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure it's in line. Okay, in line block. Okay, so we can change the display to nine block. And then set to fix this, add a declaration rule set to add the height and width properties to a specific value. Remember to use the correct syntax. Okay. Okay, so inspect the supporting dot they don't seem to be flowing horizontally yet because they have no set in width. So set the width and height to two hundred pixels. Okay. So we can do width width two hundred pixels and then the height can also be two hundred pixels as well. Then we have, okay, starting to look good. Great work. The Broadway design site looks much better from be better. Uh, if you want to continue coding, challenge to make the footer also fixed to the bottom regardless of scrolling. Okay. 
not too bad um you know still need some tweaks um to work out but yeah that's gonna end it right here that was the broadway project i hope you did enjoy this if you did find this valuable please consider subscribing and leaving a like and a comment and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one